Welcome to August Leco Challenge. Today's problem is add and search word data structure design. Design is data structure that supports the following operations, add word and search word. Search word can search for a literal word or a regular expression string containing letters A through Z or period. Period means it represents any one letter. That's basically a wild card. You see in this example, we add the words bad, dad, mad, and we can search for period AD, and that's going to return a true because we indeed see that word exists. So this problem is an implementation of a tree. We've seen this problem before. There's many ways to implement one. Uh, I'm going to use a nested dictionary, uh, but the big twist here is how do we get this wildcard search to work? Notice that we can't add words with the wildcard, but we need to be able to search for words with that. So initially, let's start with initializing a dictionary. We'll just call that D. And this is going to be our root dictionary for, for our tree-like structure word dictionary. Now, when we want to add a word, we want to add basically each character of the word into a nested dictionary. right? And basically, we want to first, first, first see if this word exists. If it does, we're going to add each character of the word um, into a nested dictionary, and at the very end, we have to mark it somehow to say this is the end of the word, because otherwise we're not going to be able to know if uh, this word is indeed inside of a dictionary or if it's just like the starts with part is working. So first, I'm going to initialize a current pointer pointing to the dictionary that we're at, and this starts with a root dictionary. Now, if the um, word does not exist inside of our word dictionary, then we want to add it. And we'll write this search function later. Uh, we'll say for i in range of the length word, we're going to, um, let's see, add to our current pointer the character being the key of the dictionary and create a new dictionary. That is, we only want to do this if this word doesn't exist, right? So we should say if, um, let's see, word dot i not in cur, then we'll set a new dictionary. Otherwise, uh, we don't need to do that. We just move on to the next pointer. We'll say current is going to be equal to cur word dot i. Now, once we're at the end here, we want to add some sort of key to indicate that this is the end, right? So what I'll do is just have this hashtag symbol be a marker. It's going to be a key to mark the end of the word. So this will just point to an empty dictionary, but uh, that's, going to be, that's going to be what's going to help us know if we are indeed at the end. All right, so now the hard part. Now we want to write some sort of way to search for the word. And the tricky part is getting that wildcard part correct, right? And there's wor different ways you can do it. Um, you could build a stack because once we hit a wildcard, what we're going to have to do is search for every word that's inside that dictionary. So we could build a stack to do that, or we could do something recursively. I'm just going to go with a recursive approach. Start with initializing the current pointer to our root dictionary. And what do we want to do? Well, let's write a, um, a helper method. That's going to be our recursive method. And we want to pass in the starting index, the index number where we're at, as well as the current dictionary that we're pointing at. So there's going to be some base condition that's going to return true. Uh, we'll come back to that in a bit. Let's first think about what possible things could happen here. Um, well, the first thing that it might happen is that this is a period. So if it's a period, we have to search through every single um, you know, dic dictionary inside of our current dictionary. OK, so to do that, we'll say if word start is equal to period, let's do a for loop and say, all right, for all the dictionaries, we'll do key value in current.items will recursively call, oops,
we'll recursively call um, start plus one and pass in the dictionary, which would be value. Now, the trick is we want to return a Boolean, right? So what we'll do is say, all right, if at any point in this loop, we return a true here, then we return a true. Otherwise, we get through this whole loop, then we can just return false. Now, there's other things that can happen. This word.start might just be a regular character. And so all we'll do is check to see if that's inside of our current dictionary. And if it is, then we'll just do the same thing here. We'll say uh, if recursive method start plus one and pass in the um, current word start. And if that's true, then we turn a true. Otherwise, uh, we've found the point that it does not have anything there, so we just return a false. All right, so now we have to go back to our base condition. So what would reach the end of our search? Well, basically, since we're passing in the start, uh, if the start is greater or equal to the length of the word, then we've reached the end of the word, right? So that's the point that we know, yeah, this word exists. But keep in mind, we need to remember to check to see if this hashtag exists inside of our current pointer. Because otherwise, say that we added the word dog, and now we're searching for the word do, it's going to return a true if we don't check for this end word symbol. So to do that, uh, I'm just going to keep it simple and say, all right, if the start is greater or equal to the length of the word, now check if um, hashtag in current, then return true. Otherwise, we've found that this word starts with inside of our dictionary, but it doesn't reach the end of the word, so we return false. All right, so finally, we want to return our recursive function and just pass in the zero index as well as the current, uh, the root dictionary. So let's submit that, see if it works. Um, no, 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 false, true, true, true. It looks like it works. Let's go ahead and submit that. And accepted. So like I said before, there's different approaches. I saw that some people you uh, prefer to use a stack. Some people used a tree node object instead. Um, but the basic, you know, logic is still the same. We're going to have to do a for loop for uh, check every single item if it's a period. Uh, otherwise, we just go down the right the, the normal path like we would do for a, norm, a normal tree. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. Um, really appreciate it. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.